and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some ephemeral aggro bringing this deck back because now with it being the new week and us playing those expeditions the last three days able to get uh, some extra champion wild cards and uh, one extra champion that I need to get was the third Hecarim. Of course Hecarim is just awesome. It's uh, maybe the maybe the best champion in uh, in Legends of Runeterra right now. Um, it's certainly up there, but uh, so getting a third Hecarim for this deck I think could raise the power level a lot. Um, I know it's it, this is not a very good deck viewer, but that's one thing they're going to be working on. But anyway, um, as you can see, we have lots of ones, twos, threes, nothing, <laughs> nothing else besides one and two, three mana cards. Besides now the three Hecarims at the top end. To make room for the Hecarim at the top end, I did trim down one Prankster. Prankster. Uh, can be very good, and Prankster can de can win us games, and it has won us games in the past. But that doesn't mean that you necessarily need to play all three. So we're gonna just play two. Uh, I think that was that was kind of the card to trim. Uh, we're still kind of testing out, like as we started the last time, we're getting a couple of Dark Water Scourges help out the burn matchups um, to go along with our Death Marks because we are playing the Death Marks. Um, if it turns out the Scourges are a little slow and unnecessary because our because our deck is so aggressive. Um, if, if the Scourge is too slow, then that's good. That can be a card that we can cut to get like the Prankster back in there. But let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Ephemeral aggro in ranked with three Hecarims. We'll see how it does. <clears throat> All right, Shen Fiora. This deck's be starting to become kind of popular. All right, so I have turn one Sparring Student, turn two Soul Shepherd, turn three Zed. Do I really need this Shadow Fiend for later? Not really. We'll take that one out. Well, it looks like we get it right back. Ready, willing, and learning. I relied the armor. <laughs> These woods protect their own. Whenever an ally gets a barrier, this thing gets plus three, plus zero. I don't, I'm not real confident in us winning this game from like the cards that we have to this start that my opponents had. I'm not, I'm not real confident here. Not real confident at all. Okay, well that's pretty interesting. Always two steps ahead. Without a sound. Never mind, Fiora's gonna get us. Wow, they just didn't attack? They don't wanna just have Fiora kill this thing? Hmm. Options are playing like Shepherd plus Chariot or Chariot plus like, you know, Haunted Relic or I, I want to have two Shepherds out before I Haunted Relic. Um, it's definitely Chariot. And I guess so I guess I'm not going to I'm not going to go Soul Shepherd. I think I'm going to just go double Shadow Fiend. The thing is, soul, you know, like all these ephemeral things are not things that we want to be playing on our opponent's turn. So saving the Soul Shepherd does give me something to play on my opponent's turn next, you know, next turn with the with the mana. So I guess I'll just go like Chariot, Double Fiend. Hmm. 
So they're obviously just setting up for a barrier. So do I throw Zed away into the barrier? Barrier gives this thing plus two plus zero, so it turns this into a three two. So if I attack out, they can have that thing block. Your move. So they can like block here, block here, take 10, 18. I guess if they block there, there, they take 18. I, if they block these two, they take 18. So they can't really do that. So that's 15, put them down to three. Fiora's killed one thing now. During their turn, Fiora can kill another thing. But Fiora has to, of course, kill four things. So I like our chances. For the most part, so that's five creatures. It's basically, are they going to have judgment? I guess they could still have judgment. How'd you do that? I can't really stop judgment. I think I just go for it, right? If they have judgment, I lose. If they don't, I win. They could also have a barrier and fight and plus another barrier. So they have, like, if I attack out. They have to have barrier, fight, barrier. No, because then the fight would have to resolve. So they have to have judgment. I think judgment's it. Yeah, we, we just got to go for it because it doesn't get better waiting. Yeah, single combat. That was the card that I was thinking of, the fight spell. All right, well, that's not judgment. Oh, but they can do it like this. Since I play a spell, they get to respond. So now they just need another... Barrier, which they can't have another barrier. They only have the two mana. Oh, but then single combat here. Uh, I should have played the other Soul Shepherd first. I didn't really consider that happening. Damn. Alright, I guess I should have played the other Soul, Soul Shepherd first. Didn't really consider that that line of barrier, barrier single combat, single combat. Yeah, you just buy wild cards in, in this, yep. And and you also have shards <clears> that you just craft whatever cards that you want. Like, you get the shards, you just craft whatever you want. Yeah, our deck is very low interaction, for sure. We're trying to be the fastest. But yeah, that is the risk. Yes, that's an alternate win. Yeah, Fiora has an alternate win that Fiora it Fiora says that whenever whenever Fiora kills four creatures and survives, you win the game. I don't think I've ever lost that deck with just like normal damage. 
that Fiora deck. Darn, looks like they have Mark of the Isles. <clears throat> I thought it was a little risky to block. Ugh, my chair doesn't move. Ugh, ugh, there we go. So yeah, like their whole deck is is built on, um, you know, barriers to keep keep Fiora alive and and uh, fight spells and stuff like that. They had good start here. Probably, probably losing this one. Yep, it's got to be the one single Fiora out the whole time. The Yordle here's with me. Yeah, I mean, I'm not out racing this. Oh, come on. The shadows take form. Full speed ahead. Yeah, they kind of had it all. They had the deny also. So Callista is one creature away from leveling up. I guess if I can survive here, I can maybe win it in the air with these elusive things. We do have the double side. Silent Shadows here. Wait, why do you get... Oh, you have Fearsome also? Lame. Yeah, play something else. That lets me just play this thing just for some defense. Get two three twos. Or four threes. So Callista will flip. Be a five three. Um. So obviously I have to block one of these. Just what do I want to block with? Soul Shepherd. Let's chump with Soul Shepherd. Uh, 
With this, I'm dead to a mark of the ephemeral. A mark of the isles. So I could go here, but then I'm but then I die if they have removal for one of these things. I don't know. It's probably not likely they have another Mark of the Isles. Uh, kind of wish I didn't block. No, I wish I, I, wish I would have just taken it. I think it's more likely they have the the drain. No, like if they have the if they had vile feast, you know, drain one, make a spider. They probably would have just played that right away, right? Before blockers. That was a good draw. Attack. Do we get there? Maybe they did have another Mark of the Isles. And that if I wouldn't have blocked, we would have died to Mark of the Isles. Maybe that's what they're going to show us. No, deal one to all enemy units and then heal three. That's not good. Hang on, Zern. No. Ugh. Don't you love it when people say GG and then blow you out? Isn't that fun? I right, got that quest done. Our deck has some interaction. We have, we just haven't, we haven't drawn any of it. We have three Mark of the Isles ourselves. We have three Black Spears for removal, and we also have the three Death Marks, which we did have. We have, we did draw one Death Mark that game, which that that's how we got rid of the Elise. Whenever we were far behind. Okay, I can go with this. <clears throat> so it's not like we have zero. We just, what do you, call that you know, haven't technique? drawn too much of it. And, you know, we have the pranksters that do direct damage. I don't know. We've done. I mean, we've done well with this deck before. We we just lost two close matches. I don't think that that means we have to just change the deck up a ton just because we lost two close matches. Oh, you can't block. It's possible they don't know you can't block. This is all right. They figured out. Hmm. I am the blade 
in the dark, man. Are you supposed to be here? No, I don't have any glimpses in here. That's the thing that, that's the card that I don't have. I didn't really know where to put those in, but, because if your ephemeral things are, are striking, which is what you normally want, you know, you can't, you can't have them strike and then sacrifice to glimpse. Like, it doesn't work well in that respect. Probably a safe block. Safe ish block. Does everybody have all these denies? Hello, love. In the field, you call me commander. Only get to attack with the two. It might have been better just to play this, the Shadow Seer to attack with that instead of this thing, but this thing pumps this up a little bit more. Go ahead. Scare me. So this is them taking two damage. Um, they're going to take another three so two total here and then with stuff dying three four five six seven so this will kill him i'll make it ten All right. One and two. Get on the board with a win. So yeah, it looks like it's it's exact as far as the leveling up and leveling down. It's yeah, it's exact 20, 20 points either way. So get five wins, get to the next level, lose five, lose one and so on. So we need to win from here. We need to win 10 matches in a row to get to diamond. And for every loss, you know, then, you know, then that adds another one that we got to win. Oh, yeah, we have Hecarim's in the deck. Remember that card? Okay, well, we just got a one-for-one -one trade. The Yordle here is with me. 
Yeah, for a while, at least, Pimbot. I am... Um, I'm just really liking Legends of Runeterra, and so playing a lot of Legends of Runeterra. This new game, I think, is is super well designed. I uh, wrote about it there, why I like it more than Magic. In that Google document, but yeah. This game's been really impressive. We had a, you know, really solid hand, which of course, you know, like we're, our deck's really aggressive, so it can be, but I don't know what my opponent has. Like they're, you know, they're the, the Kinku Elusive deck, like for them not to play anything on turn two or turn three, I don't, I'm not really sure how that's possible. First step's the hardest. Don't ask how I got it. All right, well, they got a Wayfinder. So I'm not gonna let them play anything else. I'm just gonna go straight to attacks and just I'm just gonna attack with everything. Oh, there's two sharks. I shouldn't attack with the two three. There was another shark. Darn it. I was thinking Zed shark, but there was two sharks. Hmm. Shouldn't attack with those two three. Looking for this. It will be done. I surrendered. Cool. Ah, uh, grow. All right, we unlocked this big chest looking thing. Let's see if we get a champion in it. We'd have to get lucky to get a champion. So it's a platinum chest. So platinum chests contain Two capsules and a huge amount of shards. Alright, capsules usually just give you a bunch of commons and, like, a rare. <laughs> got extra copies of a lot of stuff. So, well, we got... I guess I have a lot of the commons already. So we got 60 shards, a back alley barkeep. Okay, we got an epic. Karina Veraza. Another rare. And 507 shards. Cool. So got a whole lot of shards. All right, now we just got to get one more. Get to that thing. All right, ephemeral aggro. Dude, right, chicken wings? Yeah, this song is nice. Definitely remind. Yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. What a what a game back in the day. I loved how there was, there were so many achievements to do with the Tony Hawk games. So fun trying to find, like trying to figure out how to do all those achievements whenever you're a kid. That was a, that was a great game. Yeah, that was, yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. I'm pretty sure that was the one that I played a lot, like 2 and 3. I think those are the two that I played a ton, if I remember correctly. Won't get past me. Ready, willing, and learning. I'll do better this time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's just go shadows here. Hawkeye. Yeah, Hawkeye did pass away last month. Developed cancer in his tongue and could not eat anymore. Sure about that? So playing the Shadow Seer this turn basically because um, just you know all it does is just get three damage in, but 
these other things I can play on their turn. Hmm. If I knew I was gonna draw Zed. Of course I'm ready. You know, I'll throw this down. Make them not want to attack. Just save a good amount of life. What do you call that technique? Let me show you what I can do. I am the blade in the dark. Are you supposed to be here? All right, well, can't attack anymore. Ooh. Just you and me, fish bones. Hmm. I really want to draw a dark mark now. Death mark. Sorry, and be able to remove the ephemeral from this thing. That would be awesome. I am the blade in the darkness. Are you supposed to be here? Oh, you're in for it. Hmm. So that's three, four, five, six, seven damage right now. You can have, yeah, you can have three, uh, there's the decks, they're 40 card decks. You can have three copies of any card in your deck. Three is the, three is the maximum. You'd be a good draw. That's always been there. Uh. Hecarim, Green Glade Duo. Uh, reporting in. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. <laughs> Oh no. Alright, I think I think we're dead. Leveled up Jinx is pretty crazy. All right, back to back to the losing record. Back to two and three. Now it's a party. Am I 
I think that's our first time drawing a black spear in three games. Or five games. Sorry. There you go, super mega death rocket, and I'm dead. All right, 4,500 EXP, or just XP. We're almost there. We got the 100 part. <laughs> Basically there. Yeah, no, no, we have, you have mana. So mana is over, playing that deck again. Okay. This is your mana over here. So, uh, you each, um, so like turn one, we both have one mana. Turn two, we both have two mana. The thing that I love about it is the shared turns, you know, like, like I play a creature, they can play a creature. It's not, it's not just like one person gets like the mana and like, uh, one person gets the mana and can play creatures. Like during a turn, both players get three mana can play creatures so they play that thing i'm going to play shark chariot this shark chariot can't block at all That was not a good good play playing the shark chariot. That was not good. Mm, didn't get bailed out. has to work uh whatever mana you don't use you get to store over here and it's so, like they had three mana stored up from previous from how they didn't play anything on turn one or turn two i just didn't use that mana so i get to store that mana now you can only have up to three mana stored and that mana is to only cast spells with dang Night Shadows gather. Yeah, so that, yep, that's awesome. So yeah, going first is not like a, a huge deal. And so like that's, that makes the game, it makes the game really balanced. Um, but you know, like there, so there's, there's an attack, each turn there's an attacker. So you know, like the attack token flips back and forth each turn there's an attacker. So we're the attacker this turn. Um, and so if you're the attacker, you get to, you know, make an action first. So our action was this, now they get, now they get priority to make an action and so on. And, and um Just act natural. I got you. And when there's not like a specific combat step, you can choose whenever to go to combat. It's our action, so your action you can choose to go to combat. So before you play any other creatures, you can go to combat immediately so then they don't get to play other creatures. Um Hecarim's super powerful. Hecarim brings two three twos along with it whenever it attacks. But I also have these these sharks that whenever I attack with ephemeral things they come along also and attack everything attacks in like alleys you you can't double block you can only just like single block you can only have you can only have six creatures 
out here you can only have six creatures on over like on the battlefield part also pledge yourself to the shadows hmm well that's lethal attack I need something I need them to play something yeah Wait, that's still lethal attack Oh, why don't I play the duo? The duo... Well, because now if I play the duo, I'm still taking lethal attack. So, yeah. I need to be able to play two things. But, of course, I, I can't play two things because, you know, once I do an action, then they get an action, and their action will just go to combat. Yeah, this game is really, really balanced. Uh, can anybody explain to me why Hecarim's current power budget makes sense? Um, I mean, cause I mean, it's a six mana card. It is very good, but yeah, I mean, it's it's one of the more powerful cards. Like, you're gonna have more like powerful cards, but it's not like you just automatically win whenever you play Hecarim or anything like that. Um, I, mean, I don't know. It's a six mana champion. I think it's I think it's fine honestly. All right, another burn deck. Our deck's at its best whenever like honestly like our deck's pretty good against control decks and and slower decks. Um, but the other fast decks can race us, and that's what we've been seeing with the last couple of losses. Ooh, Mark of the Isles is a good card. And this is a really aggressive deck. Deck we're going to play... Um, two turns from now, the Burn Acro. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I'll, I'll go get that here after, after this video, Rex, yeah. Hey, Rankler! What's up? Happy Friday. First big mission. It's a lot of damage. This game is really fun. Hope you start, uh, yeah, checking it out more. It's, you know, it's free to play. It's, you know, free to download and everything. And um, you can really build up a collection without spending money at all pretty easily. I mean, when you compare it to other card games very easily. All right, so we're going to have to try to race all this stuff, which is basically going to be really difficult. That's the easiest way to say that. So we're going to have five mana. I can do one, two, three, four, five. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Z attacks for three, so this attacks four, so I only have room for two more things attacking. So I'm going to play the Onslaught of Shadows instead of the Haunted Relic, which makes three creatures, because this makes two. Because we have, we have two, like, Zed brings another attacker, we have the Shark that's going to be attacking also, so we're going to be bringing two other extra attackers onto the battlefield with us. Even though I could have played, like, instead of that for three mana, I could have played Haunted Relic and Shadow Fiend. Um, and I would have been able to go two extra, you know, two more wide, but we can't attack with everything. Three, six, nine, twelve, eighteen. They're going to have to make another block. Can't just take eighteen. They can't block the six one. The six one it has elusive. It's, that's the whole stuff around it. So it's it's like a flyer. 
So the cap is six. You can have six attackers. You can have six. Like so, this is the cap here. You can have six um, on this thing also, on this part also. You could have like a couple extra here and then and six attackers. But six is the cap. All right. So I have to. If I survive this attack, I think I will likely win. I gotta survive this attack though. Which I'm not guaranteed to. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm taking nine there. Even if I go block, block. Let's see. If you block there, you maybe you block here. I am a true master. This is me taking eight. Five damage with those. These triggers are an extra three. So this is me taking eight. I don't know why I'm blocking this thing as opposed to another spider. I guess because it does the one damage. So that's me going down to one. So they just need a one any burn spell. Don't kill me. No burn spell. No. Ugh. Man, rough day for ephemeral aggro. We played a lot of close games. Played a lot of close games, but we were just getting outraced. Where's all those Ezreal and Heimerdinger decks that were around before that we could make their removal look kind of bad? So close. So close. <clears throat> all right, so we went two and five with Ephemeral Aggro. Uh, did get outraced there quite a bit. Um, but I've always liked playing this deck. I think it's pretty fun to play. Um, it would be nice to fit Glimpse in here, but Glimpse just kind of slows our deck down even more. But it gives us a little bit of card draw. So I don't know. Um, you know, we could put a, a, a third Dark Water Scourge. Um, we never really got the Scourge Death Mark combo. I don't know. Probably, you know, like I, a lot of those games that were, I was losing were really, really close. That maybe there was like little decisions that I could have been making to help out a little bit more. Um, May, yeah, maybe taking out that third maybe taking out that prankster hurt us that if we have that third prankster because prankster can block it you know like once as the o3 and then you know gets all those triggers to to kill the kill the the opponents we, we didn't really have prankster too much the one game we drew prankster we did win that was one of our two wins with prankster uh do, being a big part of that so maybe maybe taking out the prankster for the hecarim was was wrong then i need need to bump that back up um, I could see that. I don't know. Oh, well, uh, yeah. If you're watching on YouTube, you have some suggestions, uh, exactly how to, uh, finish tuning this deck. It's so close. I feel like, and needs just a, a little bit more, you know, I, I wish I want to be able to play that third prankster and I want to be able to play this third scourge, but we can't. You know, we can't fit everything in. And those are two more three drops. And I, I kind of want like a couple more one drops, honestly, not three. So it's 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 difficult, it's difficult fitting everything in. Maybe I just shouldn't play Onslaught of Shadows. Maybe I just take this card out. Um, the card that looked the worst was maybe the Haunted Relic. This might have been like the weakest card. Maybe that's what I do is just take out Haunted Relics. I don't know. I don't know. 
All right, but anyway, there we go. There's ephemeral aggro. All right, so the, yeah, y'all watch on YouTube. Also hit that like button over there. I'd appreciate that and uh, leave those other comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching some ephemeral aggro and I'll see you for the next video.